This is the second matchmaking event that's been organised during this week. The first one was in Seoul and this is giving our companies an opportunity to have one-to-one -one meetings to discuss their technologies and opportunities for research and development collaboration. First, I've uh, never been to South Korea in this capacity before and it has been a massive eye-opener and we're really thankful to the efforts that the EEN have put in with Andy and Louise to give us a really good uh, demonstration of the business in South Korea. So it was great to start for the embassy and understand more about how to do etiquette here and the different agencies and organisations and how they are reflected against the ones that we recognise from home, which was a really nice synergy and a, and a way for us to, to understand quicker how things work here. And it's been a really useful week so far. We've met several uh, interesting companies. I'm sure that some collaborative opportunities will uh, come from this visit. It's been a really great time and thanks to everybody for arranging it. This week has been truly tremendous for us as a business. We had a few visits scheduled uh, to research institutions and industrial companies uh, specialized in advanced uh, composite materials. What struck me from those visits, or what was uh, clearly obvious from those visits, was the level or the seniority of the delegates attending those e events from, or those meetings from South Korea. This is our first time to actually participate in a benchmaking event. And I think it was a really great you know, opportunity to meet other you know, company actually uh, from the UK. And I, I think it was a really valuable time because we don't really had a, you know opportunity to meet the company outside of the Korea. And then it was really good because we talk about our you know, like technical skills and experience and we share the thoughts. We have to educate ourselves more about uh, the business etiquette of the South Korean it's very clear that in South Korea there is a lot of focus on the research uh, activities, uh, especially on, on the carbon fiber and the advanced material, with less focus on the commercialization of ideas or the end product. I think the biggest takeaway for me is just how uh, advanced the, the country is with regards to its R&D, but there are massive opportunities here to help them speed up with production and commercialization of their intellectual property and the products that they are creating. This program has been magnificent for us as a business and um, I can only thank you all um, for all the great efforts. The people are fantastic, um, it's been culturally awakening, we've done a fair bit of mileage um, and uh, yeah, really looking forward to coming back and seeing how some of these relationships develop.